Hi, Mary. Mary's in Texas. Hi, Yvonne. And Robin, let me make sure. How's everyone doing today? Nice to see all my BD friends. This is Kristen Fagan here with a new episode of Free Spirit Beating on the Softflex Company YouTube channel. Hi, Sheila. Let's see, what's today? It's March 2nd. Happy birthday to Dr. Seuss. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello, welcome everyone. So today is Dr. Seuss's birthday and he was the inspiration for our last design kit, Whimsical Beatastical, the one that we've already revealed and we've been making some jewelry with um, this week. As of this morning, we have just five of those kits left. So if you like the Whimsical Beatastical design kit and you want to play with it, um, grab it soon. We just got five. Josephine is asking, what are you making today? We are gonna make a pair of bugle bead fringe tassel earrings. Um, we're gonna be using a few beads from the Whimsical Beatastical bead mix. And I'm gonna be comparing that with some silver bugle beads which were also included in the design kit, but you can get bugle beads pretty easily um, different places as well. And we'll be using the Tanzanite Softflex beading wire. Hi, Timothy. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. Um, we had these really nice end bars we brought in. They're like a hammered distressed end bar from Tierra Cast. And we did place a couple of those in the Whimsical Beatastical design kit. Sarah used them to make a bracelet last week. And when, she, when I saw her working on the bracelet, I went, oh, those will be great for some tassel or fringe-like earrings. And it's um, something I wanted to play with for a while. So I got to do that uh, last week on my own. And now I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, so for those of you that don't know who Dr. Seuss is, he's an American author, was an American author and cartoonist, best known for Cat in the Hat. Um, I also am partial to O, oh, The Places You Will Go. That book is one of my favorites. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Oh yeah, we've got a current deal happening that is buy a design kit and that can be either the whimsical, betastical, or our new painted sunflowers design kit. And that's a mystery kit, so I can't show you any details about that one yet. Um, the Grinch, Kathy says, yes. So buy a design kit and spend $59 or more. Use the coupon code KIT, K-I-T, at checkout, and you'll receive $10 off your order. And that is for retail priced orders. It's not valid with any other discounts. Um, I can't show you what's in the painted sunflowers kit yet because it's still a mystery until we reveal it at the end of this month. But we do have a painted sunflowers bead strand that is available right now at softlexcompany.com. And this gives you a little hint into the design kit. It is um, inspired by Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers. And that is what we used to um, you put the kit together. It's really, really pretty. And we have a bunch of these bead strands currently on sale. Um, the bead strands do tend to sell out by the end of the month. So I would grab one of these, grab yourself a kit, and then you can use that, um, that code KIT to get $10 off your order, $59 or more. And that expires tomorrow, March 3rd at midnight Pacific time or while supplies last. Um, Hi, Softlex Company. Damien is here and he's sharing some links to the products I'm talking about. So he just shared the bead strand link. Thank you for that. All right, I think I got everything. 
let's go ahead and turn you guys down to the B table and get making. Let me make sure I didn't miss any comments. Robin says the bead strand is gorgeous in person. Yeah, it's really pretty, really, really pretty. I think these colors are just fantastic together. Um, and you can always cut them apart and use them separately too if you don't wanna have the blues and the yellows together, but I do think blues and yellows are a really fun combination together. All right, let's get going here. Ah, you got me on mute, Emily. I don't, bl yes, if you're on, you can watch. <laughs> yeah, it does have a really nice, it, we've kind of got a cloudy day out, so the sun might go a little in and out of the clouds, but I'm glad you're seeing it well today. So here is our, this was our whimsical, betastical, um, bead mix. We are currently sold out of the mix online, I think. Am I right in saying that? Um, Damien, let me know. We might still have some of these left, actually. I didn't look before I went on. So I'm using some of the smaller beads from the bead mix, but we do have these larger beads in there. There's some really sweet tassels. And this is a custom mix put together exclusively for Softlex Company by Jesse James Beads. So you can only find it through us. If you buy the kit, you will get this mix included, but you can also buy this mix separately if we've got some still online. There's these really pretty tanzanite color leaves and beads. Thomas says, we do still have some whimsical bead tassical bead mixes available. Awesome, I forgot to look that up before I jumped on. Um, so we do have some of these mixes still available. There's a ton of beads in here. I'm only using, I pulled out all of these little silver beads. So I'm really just using those. And I'm using these little tanzanite beads. Let me find them. So we've got these little tanzanite like rectangles. So I've got those I'm gonna pull out. But you'll see it's such a fun color mix. And even though it's super colorful, um, the colors are a little bit more subdued. You know, we've got reds, but we also have these softer, corally reds and we have blues but the tanzanites are a little softer as well got these fun turquoise black and white tassels for the cat for cat in the hat pretty yellows but they are a softer yellow and then some yellow beads like that too that are lined teardrops, lots and lots of wonderful. And then of course, a few bead caps and some silver beads in there. Lots of goodies. So I'm gonna put that aside. These are the silver beads that I pulled out of the bead mix to design with. So I'll let you see these up close. So we've got some of these circles, some of these squares, and then just like little spacer beads that I'm using from the mix. And we're gonna combine those with the little tanzanite rectangles out of the mix. And then I'm using these silver lined bugle beads. And if you bought the design kit, you do get a strand of these in there. And they may be, they may not be exactly what I have because I don't have the kit, but I did have silver lined bugle beads in my stash. So I pulled those out and that's what I'm using. But you should have something very close, if not the same in the design kit.
I have some mini bead stoppers here to help me with my project today. And I cut five five inch strands of tanzanite colored beading wire. This is soft flex beading wire. It's the medium 0.019 diameter. This is the color that you get with the kit. And it looks like this on the spool. Medium, 0.019 diameter. And we are gonna be making these earrings. Really, really cute, really fun. There's a few different ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you this way today. And where is my end bar? I had it, oh, there it is. Robin says, I finally bro broke down and bought the mini bead stoppers. <laughs> did you have some of the bigger ones or did you not have any bead stoppers? And we're gonna be using this distressed end bar. These are made by um, Tierra Cast. Really beautifully made. You do get two of these in the kit, but you can also find these online at softflexcompany.com. And we have them in, um, I believe, five different metal color tones. So I'm using the antique silver color, and that's the one that came in the kit. I've got a pair of cutters and a pair of magical crimping pliers that we'll be using, and I have my two by two millimeter crimp tubes. Robin says, I had the big ones. Yeah, I actually really like the large ones, but when you're working on things that are a little smaller and you need to get things a little closer together, um, it is nice to have a pack of the little ones around also. All right, let's get going. One last product you'll need is some ear wires. So I have these um, silver filled with the ball ear wires. They came in the design kit as well, but you can also find them at softlexcompany.com. We do have the same um, shape in a silver plated that's currently on closeout in our closeout section. So you can, if you can grab them before they're gone, they're 30% off of the silver plated ones. So we're just gonna take one of our first strands, and this is five inches. I am going to string it on to my end bar, and I think I'll work from one side to the next. And I'm just going to fold it in half so that I've got two strands at the bottom. And my first strand is gonna have this little round bead on it. So I'm tightening it up both strands so you see both strands go through the bead and you could crimp here this is that would also be an option to kind of crimp these along the top and then crimp them again along the bottom but I decided to play with the idea of just having to crimp at the bottom the only caveat is you need to use beads that allow two strands of the soft flex to go through it. So all of these metal beads had holes large enough to allow two strands. So once I've got that, I really wanna pinch it up nice and tight. I found that if these have a loop too large, they may try and cross each other while they're sitting on the bar. And you really want them to sit as flat as they can. So you wanna pull it nice and tight. And then we're gonna string on our bugles. I did, looks like four bugles on each strand. Emily says, I think I see where I messed up when I was trying to do something similar. I needed to make my tassels tighter. Yeah, I found when I was before I had crimped when I was just using the bead stoppers and I was kind of playing with the design, I noticed that when the loops were larger at the top, they could crisscross one another kind of easily. 
So now I'm gonna string four bugles on each side of the strand. I really love the silver and the tanzanite colorway together. So pretty. All right. So once I have all four on each strand, so a total of eight bugles going down, four on the one side and four on the other side. <clears throat> Then I can go ahead and add a two by two millimeter crimp tube and just string it up to the bugles. And before you crimp, double check your loop at the top. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then you can crimp. And I'm gonna use my magical crimping pliers. These pliers have one notch on each side of them. You're gonna place your crimp tube right in the center. Give it a squeeze. It's gonna pinch your little corners, making it like a puffed square. Turn it 90 degrees, place it back into the center of your pliers, and then give it another squeeze. And then you're gonna to wanna to go around five or six more times. You're just gonna kinda of open your pliers pump and squeeze, and then you'll have your little round crimp tube. And you can always use regular crimping pliers here. It'll just have more of a tubular ending instead of a round bead ending. I'm not gonna trim off any of the wire yet. And I've got my first tassel. Hi, Susanna, welcome. So now I wanna go and continue with this particular pattern. So my next one is gonna have a tanzanite bead, a square bead, and then it's going to have four bugles again. So you're just gonna string your wire onto the end bar. You're gonna to wanna to be to the right side of the first one you did. Pull them close together. My pattern has the tanzanite bead first. Let's try and get these on both wires. This one took me a little bit snugger, but snug is good because you do want it to get kind of snug up to the top there. That's the difference of having to really crimp at the top or just let the bead hold the wire, is when it is snug, you're gonna be able to just let the bead hold it up. Next is the square. And now I'm gonna do the four bugles. I need those crimps, Susanna says, yes. The crimps are really fantastic. If you've never used Softflex crimps before, our crimps are really wonderfully made. They are very consistent, they're seamless, so there's no seam that's gonna pop open on you. They're double the wall thickness of most on the market, so it makes them very secure. They are a nice quality crimp. And then if you pair them with a crimping plier, you'll have an extra nice secure finish. We always suggest using a crimping plier. It doesn't have to be the magical crimping plier, although we love that crimping plier because it turns it into a sweet little bead, but it can be just a regular crimping plier. When using the magical, you do have to use two by two crimp tubes. It only works with the two by two crimp tubes. So now I did four beagles, bugle beads again on each strand and I'm ready to add my crimp. And 
And again, we will use these crimping pliers. So now I've got two done so far. Do the center one. Do the same thing, string your wire onto the end bar. I'm just grabbing it in half. And I wanna check my pattern. On this one is that spacer bead, two bugles, one on each strand, and then a tanzanite. And then we're gonna add five bugles. Lois says, hi Kristen, I love the magical crimps. I don't use anything else. I really don't either. I actually, a lot of times I will adjust my design so that I can use those crimping pliers. Um, what am I doing here? This one. I just love them so much. I will figure out how I can make adjustments to my design to use them. So here is where this particular spacer had such a large hole that see how it just keeps backing back up? It doesn't wanna stay nice and tight. So that's why I placed two bugle beads to help push it up a little bit and then a tanzanite bead to tighten it all up. Oh, I got a little half C bugle there. So, so far I have the spacer, I have the two bugles, and now we're gonna place one of these tanzanite beads. And these kind of fit a little more snugly, so they will help push those other beads up to the top. just like that. And now I can add the rest of my bugles here. And since this was the center one, I think I made it a little longer. One, two, three, four, yeah. I have five bugle beads on each side for my center. So I know Sarah talked about it a little bit on the reveal about this particular wire color. Um, this color tanzanite is really pretty. It's almost like a soft denim-y color. So it goes really well with like blue jeans and then you can also dress it up of course. So when I first was doing this design, I didn't know my pattern yet, and that's when the little bead stoppers came in handy, is I used bead stoppers at the end of all of these before crimping to make sure I was happy with where they were. Since I know the pattern now, I can just kind of crimp, but. I know I missed a comment here. Robin says, I love them too, but it is hit or miss. I sometimes still use a cover. Yeah, I found if it's, if it's an intricate design that I don't want to redo again and my crimp did not come out too pretty, I will use a cover sometimes too. But it's few and far between as I've gotten more and more comfortable with the tool. I will say, I think, you know, there is something to be said about you being comfortable with a tool as it is, because I got these ergonomic ones. This is the ergonomic handle for the magical crimping pliers. I sell it both ways, like the ergonomic and the regular handle. Um, so I picked up the ergonomic ones, and even though I was really great with my other magical crimping pliers, I did have 
another learning curve again. I don't know if it's because when you have a new handle, you're holding the plier a little bit differently. Maybe you're applying pressure differently. But I found when I first started using the ergonomic handle one, I had a hard time. I had to practice a little bit more again. Um, and I kind of was getting frustrated. I would go back and forth. But now that I'm, I'm really trying to use this more often, so I'm getting, I'm getting a little better with this. But really just slight differences like that <laughs> put you back into practice mode. <laughs> but I figure in the long run, the ergonomic handle will be nice. All right, so I am all set with this one. Just push, make sure all my beads are kind of nice and, nice and snug. So this color wire might go away. It was something that Sarah mentioned on her video on Wednesday. Not anytime super soon, but it's not, according to the numbers, it's not one of our best selling wire colors, um, but it is really pretty. And I hope those of you that grabbed the kit have gotten a chance to really play with it and use it in person and you're enjoying this color. I think it's one of those colors that doesn't photograph as well online and you really have to see it in person. All right, so now that I've got those three done, now I can do my next one and it's gonna be the same pattern as this one right here. So this was the middle. I'm gonna go back to this pattern and then the last one would be the first pattern that we did. So this one is string the wire through that end tube. Pick up one of these little tanzanite rectangles. Susanna says she has gold ones. Thomas says tanzanite is a great muted color. It's not too showy. It doesn't distract from the beads. No, it's really a soft, it's like, and it can go kind of blue or it can go purple. You know, it can kind of fluctuate depending on what you're working with. It's really pretty. Next is the square bead. And then on this one, I did four bugles on each side. These kind of earrings, you'll generally see um, people usually do bugle tassel earrings with string, like a thread or something like that, more than a wire. Um, so I thought it was really fun to try it in a different material. The wire has a little bit kind of a, um, a fuller body to it. And then on the string, you, I don't think they would normally allow any of the wire pieces to, or the string pieces to stick out like this. I think it adds a fun element. Hi, Susie, welcome. Thanks for joining us. We're making some tassel earrings with the bugles and some of the beads and the wire from the whimsical bead tastical bead mix and bead kit and design kit. So we've got four out of the five tassels done so far. I'm gonna do one more. And this will go back to our first pattern, which is the circular be silver bead and then four bugles.
oh, I have it on the wrong side here. Put it on this side and then tighten it up. And we sell these little end bars in color, metal colors that match our crimps. So our crimps come in like the blackened gunmetal, sterling, gold filled, and copper. And you can get these end bars in all of those colors as well. As well as our ear, let me think about our earrings. Yeah, we do have all of our earrings in gunmetal, silver, gold, and copper as well. So you can make the, use this idea and technique with any of those other metal tones because we have all the matching components. And if you haven't been on our closeout section, we moved a ton of findings to closeouts last month. Um, we're really trying to clean up our our component and finding section and then bring in some new stuff. So there's a lot of great items on there that are now 30% off and they're just everyday staples like jump rings and head pins and eye, eye pins. And I think there's even some um, wire guards or wire guardians left in there if you use those. We've got some of those. If you use large hole beads a lot, like glass beads or trade beads, something that has very large holes, we have this product called a speeder beater. Some of those are in there and they help you um, kind of needle your way through those larger hole beads. All right, so now I've got all my tassels done, but all of the wire is the same length sticking out the bottom and I don't want that. I want them to be I want them to be a little bit tiered in a V like this one is. So, I'm going to start with the center one and check out those wires. And I'll, maybe I'll just trim them a little bit. And then I'll go to the two next to it on the right side. And I'm just eyeballing this. I want these two to be similar in size. And I like to make them um, a little bit staggered too between the two so they don't have to be exactly the same. And then the last one I'll go up even a little bit more. And then I might just, this one I cut very close to the seam. And you could actually cut these off entirely if you don't want to leave the little wild wire tassels at the bottom. You could cut it right up to the crimp. That's just a design choice. I wanted to have a little bit of that wire color sticking out the bottom. And now you'll either use a chain nose plier or if you do have a magical crimping pliers, they have a little flat top right in the front before you get to the crimping hole that you can use as a pair of chain nose pliers. And you're just gonna turn your ear wire just out to the side slightly so you can slide on your end bar. And then you will turn it back. And you've got these really cool beaded tassels. I think they're cool anyway. I really love the, the look. It's kind of got a very boho look to it. And then these silver bugles like elevate it, make it a little more elegant and chic, I think, um, having that like silvery, silvery look there. 
so fun. And look at all of these a million beads we have left. So you can actually do this with a few of these different beads if you wanted to do it in this colorway with the, with the silver. You can do that one too. Just as long as they fit the two wires through there. Got these yellow ones. So you can really play with the beads in this mix and create some other options too. Oh, I think they're so fun. Those are right up my alley and I'm looking forward to making some more colors. <laughs> So if you guys don't know what our mystery kits are, Softlex does a mystery kit once a month. Um, they contain everything you need to bead except the tools. So you'll get beads, you'll get wire, you'll get crimps, findings, and some surprises and stuff in there. It'll look similar. This is just an example of one of the kits we did one month, but it'll be similar in items um, to this here. And then after you get your kit, if you wanna join us for the challenge, we do a design kit challenge over on our Facebook group. It's called the VIB Studio, very important beater studio Facebook group. Um, we have like 4,000 members there now. It's crazy. So after you buy your mystery kit, when they go on sale, you don't post any designs right away or any reveal anything that's inside here right away. We do a reveal video at the end of each month and it'll be noted in your kit packet um, when that date will be. Please do not share anything until after we do our reveal because they are mystery kits. Everyone really likes the mysterious aspect of it. And by sharing something too soon, you're ruining that mystery for others. Um, but as soon as we do the reveal, like I said, the date is there in your contents of what when we do that. Then you can start sharing your designs from this kit in the Softlex Very Important VIB studio group. Um, at We give you a few weeks, I think it's like three weeks to share your designs. And then we'll go through and randomly choose a winner. Basically for every design you share, you get one entry and it's just a random winner to win one of our future kits. It's a lot of fun. It really encourages participation. It's great to see how everyone else interprets the same kit that you got and things that they made spark inspiration for you and what you want to design. Really, really a neat concept. And they do sell out fairly quickly. We've decided to up our numbers as of last month so that um, hopefully we can get everyone that wants a kit can get a kit. Um, but they do still sell out fast. The painted sunflower kit, which is the one I showed you this strand for, uh, that one is about 50% sold out and we just introduced it last week. So they do go quickly. If you wanna join us, um, grab yours sooner rather than later. And if you do grab a kit today or tomorrow, use the coupon code KITKIT at checkout when your order's over $59, you'll get 10%, $10, I'm sorry, $10 off your order. And that's um, for retail. No other discounts apply to that. Well, let me turn you guys back up. I hope you enjoy today's video. I know I really did, and I cannot wait to wear these. I'll probably wear them right after this video. <laughs> Actually, maybe I'll put them in now <laughs> and wear them the rest of the day. I always like to wear, wear the things I made the rest of the day. But look at that, you can totally dress this up or down. I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt today and I think they're gonna look great with that. But you can even rock these when you're something, oh, there's the light, fancier. Really fun. What else do we have going on this week? Let me let you guys know of some other videos happening. We have got, we've got tomorrow, March 3rd. Uh, we have a Facebook live bead sale from Mike Sherman's personal collection. Those are always a lot of fun. That'll be at 1 p.m. Pacific time and you have to find us over at the Softlex Company Facebook page for that. Um, then we've got March 4th, 
We've at 1 p.m. Pacific time over on the Softflex Company Facebook page, we have a live jewelry making video with Sarah Ayler. And then on March 7th, on Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, Sarah is going to have a YouTube video premiere. I don't know if you guys have been catching those, but we've been doing, Sarah has been doing a YouTube video premiere most Saturday mornings. Um, so I think that's really fun for those of you that can't join us during the week. I hope you're able to catch those on the weekend. I have a few comments here I missed. Thomas says, I like that the connectors can be used for earrings or a multi-strand necklace. Yeah, and Sarah used it for a multi-strand bracelet last week. So really they can be used for so many different, um, so many different things, earrings, necklaces, or bracelets. You can do tassels, you can do multi-strand. I think Rosanna in our group shared a really fun um, earring where she did uh, some wire work earring dangles from them. They look, um, Lee says they look really good on. Thanks, Lee. Yeah, I'm, I wanna make some more of these. I mean, these are super pretty. I'm gonna, this is probably one of my favorite designs in a while. I love them all, but. I tend to love the last one I just did. How about you guys? <laughs> Whatever design I just make is my favorite. <laughs> uh, Susanna, lots of hearts. Mary says, really nice. Susanna says, lovely earrings. Thank you, thank you. So if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. There's a little bell when you subscribe as well that you can get notifications of when our videos are available and they go live. Um, I will be here again next Monday, same time, noon Pacific time, and I uh, hope you guys have a really wonderful week. Thanks for being here, Thomas. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. All right, talk to you guys next week. Have a good one. And I hope you make some. If you do, please share them in the VIB group because I'd love to see um, the beads that you choose if you do anything different or if you make them the exact same way. I'd love to see it either way, how they turn out for you. All right, guys, see you next week. Bye.